Hello everyone, it's Jonathan. Just a little video today just to um, go through everything I got for my birthday. So my family and my bestie are great and they often listen to me and what I, what I want and everything but it is always hard, you know, because doing this hobby, if you want something you just get it, you know, particularly I had the means and everything, you know, so that's often the case but I thought, you know, there's a bunch of stuff that I haven't quite tried yet, so I just thought, what the heck, I'll put them on my list and hopefully I'll get some of them and I can try them. Okay, so this is probably the first video that doesn't doesn't exclusively deal with uh, Diamond Art Club's um, kits. So, you know, we'll just see how that goes. But um, anyway, so um, let's just get to it. So the first thing um, is probably this which is a little tiny roller and that is just for pressing um, the diamonds you know better once um, I don't know how much I use this or not I don't know if it's a gimmick but it does like seem really sturdy um, and I haven't had time to try it yet I have got a completed diamond painting which I will try it on um, if I need to but to be honest all the diamonds look quite set quite well but I think the principle is just to make sure that all your diamonds are pressed down into the glue and aren't going to come off um, in the future but yeah quality is great this is from Amazon but I think I believe you can get these off Timu um, or various other places like AliExpress you know so but obviously Amazon it was the quickest and yeah so that's where I asked Vizel to get it me from okay the next thing was this um, lovely little um, brush, just a plus pen and brush, uh, for for uh, for basically tidying up spilled drills. So I thought, yeah, I'm bugger for spilling my drills at times, often on the sticky canvas, which obviously this wouldn't be able to deal with. You just have to do the painful job of picking them all up with um, with tweezers. But I thought, yeah. Does this work? Does this not? I have got some trash drills somewhere. So, so I just um, spilled some up. And then I did try this before the video. And it wasn't brilliant, to be fair. It's a basically like an ordinary dustpan and brush where you just get most of it, but not all, you know, so it's okay, but not brilliant. But the good thing about this is probably when you're using it, you won't, um, it, you won't um, increase extra static in your drills, which obviously can become an issue if you're using other things, so which I will go on to in a second. So just stick them all back in. Okay, put them to one side. Yeah, so nice, but like a normal dustpan and brush, I've never really found a perfect household one either, but that um, probably um, is okay, but not brilliant. But um, it's a lovely gift. Next thing. This is... Um, um, I think Catherine um, Cat's Putty um, she she tempted me with one of these you know because I've watched one of her her Timu haul video where she showed it to me and I thought oh I want to try that um, and I think my friend got this one for me uh, it was slightly different to the one on my list but it's pretty much the same to be honest um, but yeah so this is a little vacuum cleaner um, so it has, um, it takes two AA batteries inside, I think, yeah, just like that, okay. and um, that just clicks back on, and it just has an on-off button, it has a suction in the middle, and um, it also has a little individual one that you can put on the end to make it a bit more precise, okay, so you could use this the things that aren't just diamond art, I guess, but anyway, so yeah, for, for cleaning up drill, spilled drills, and again, I've got my test drills here, and just turn it on, and 
to be honest, I mean, it picks them up brilliantly. So the picking up is great. Now, the, th the issue is, so they all come lovelily, lovelily? <laughs> it all collects really nicely in this little tray, which is great, but getting them out of this tray is a bit more of the issue. So sometimes I'll have to tip them out of the tray into one of these. They sometimes go everywhere when you tip them. And sometimes they're all, they're all getting caught in little corners and stuff. So yeah, it's okay, but not the best. You know, so, and then of course you've got to then decant these, but I think the biggest gotcha with this is that there's potential for this to increase the static in your drills. So, again, I think if I had a massive drill spill, drill spill <laughs> then I probably would use it. It works really well, um, but um, obviously there are those caveats. You might not want to do it as just, a, oh, you've just spilled a few drills, you know, and oh, yeah, yeah, I'll do that, but, you know. Uh, but it's it's there, and I probably would prefer this over the little dustpan and brush uh, if it was a big drill spill. But if it was a little small one, I'd probably try and manage with the dustpan and brush just because you wouldn't get that increase in static. Yeah, so that is very nice. Okay, next thing to talk about is I got these lovely little coaster kits. So. I did think for a while I want to um, do something that maybe isn't it's specifically Diamond Art Club. You know, they don't do coaster kits, to be fair. So, you know, I thought this would be a really good opportunity for me to expand out of that, that sort of um, kit. You know, just try something a little bit different. So I asked for two coaster kits. I think there might have been another one on my list, but I can't remember. But um, my bestie Sarah got me this one, which I really, really like, actually. And this is basically St Starry Night by Van Gogh. But it's um, each, each segment is like a different part of the painting. So all of them together make up, um, make up the painting. I'm not going to... Well, there we go. That's it all together. So, yeah, that looks quite amazing, really. I really, really liked... I really liked this design. I thought it looked pretty amazing. Um, and it was just something a bit different, you know. So, I've um, done a little... I couldn't wait to get this one up, actually, for the video. So, I kitted it all up in my art dot um, pots. And, yeah, they're all ample room for these because it is quite a small kit. Um, they are very different to the sorts of diamonds I usually work with because they're I think what we call iridescent so they're really shiny ones I think that worked quite well for the coaster um, and obviously this is round diamonds and the way they're laid on the um, on the um, coaster is in a kind of a more of a curved sort of fashion to make the contours of all these um, all these parts of the painting so in that case it's not a strict grid which is what I'm used to and as this is my first round project I thought that was quite a nice way so I used to literally have to um, put the diamond or sorry the drill on the on the circle and the circles are clearly marked on this it's a bit it's a lot easier to see on a light board they are see-through these coasters so that's really good of them so you can actually see through the light board and actually I just got my husband into diamond painting and big, big, big success. Um, but um, he was using my light board, so I couldn't. So I was doing this at the same time as him and actually it was giving me a bit of a headache. So that just shows how important a light board actually is. So um, yeah, so I've actually just ordered myself a second light board, <laughs> which I will review when um, when it comes, you know, because I can't have that be not being able to do it when my husband's doing it, you know. To begin with, he said, oh yeah, I'll use all your stuff and then you can game while I do it, but obviously, there are times when I want to do it at the same time as him, and it's nice to spend time together doing these things. So, yeah, so I um, I do like this kit, um, and it's coming along nicely. Um, I think because it's rounds, I will need to seal this afterwards. Um, so I'm going to have to do a bit of research on the 
buying the best sealant, you know. I would never seal a Diamond Art Club kit because it invalidates the warranty and I just don't think it's necessary. But uh, for these, obviously, they're going to get a lot of wear and tear. They're going to have hot mugs and everything puts on them and stuff, you know, so get moisture and things. So I think it is best that they're sealed. So I will um, research the best seal for me to use um, and, um, and I will probably do that in another video as well. But yeah, very, very pleased with these. So that's these ones. I'm just going to put them all away. Okay, so then I had another coaster kit, which again, I'm breaking the box. Very similar. It has everything you need. And again, both these kits had everything you need to get started. Uh, they've got they come with this little pack, which has your uh, your um drill pen, um, a little tray and some wax but obviously I won't use that much of that because I already have trays. I've actually fallen in love with the silver tray which I'll talk about in a minute um, and I have my own pens and everything and I use cat's putty so I don't have much use for any of those. But these are another set, these are more childish you know but I do like some childish cartoony things from time to time and they are just a set of different um, sea animals um or sea creatures so there's a whale an octopus a turtle a jellyfish a seahorse a big puffer fish i can't don't know i can't remember exactly what you call them a shark looks very much like like shark um, shark from Nemo <laughs> and a crab okay so yeah I'm looking forward to doing them as well and again similar to the um, other coaster kits they have um, uh, they have that kind of curved sort of formation of the drill so it, it's not a grid formation so you just literally stick in the dots so I guess these would be great for kids because there's not that obsession to be at having to be all completely neat and completely in line and everything and again these will probably need sealing and again I think these drills all look like they're iridescent drills so that's going away we are very happy with those. So while I was just talking about it, I decided to get some premium, uh, well, a premium drill tray to try. I bought one of these for my bestie Sarah, um, and she really liked it, and I bought one for myself at the same time. This is from a company called Admore Zest in the UK, and they 3D print these in a bunch of different colours. and. I think this is the larger one. They do also sell these in a tower uh, with all the trays. Um, but I've got cats and everything and I don't diamond paint like that. So I just got the one at the moment. But as my husband is using this as well, I probably will buy another one for myself. But um, but yeah, this is... Um, I, f I like the lines. They're very, very much more defined than the other standard trays that often come with the kits. The drills line up really well. Only thing is those round drills of this kit, they actually got jammed between the lines. So I don't know if that's just this kit and the style of those drills or whether that's rounds in general. So I will have to experiment further with that if I ever do any other round kits. But to be honest, I'm, I'm a square person. I really love square kits and I do choose not to do round kits usually, um, uh, particularly if it's the paintings. That's just the style I prefer. Right, and finally, this, my friend got, Sarah got me to do this, my bestie, um, was this amazing big container um, for uh, the drill, con well, storage container for drills uh, from Art Dot. Now, I already have one of their smaller containers, but that one only takes 60, and a lot of the kits have more than 60, and I just felt that I needed something to be able to store my multiple kits. I've seen a bunch of people talking about these big large kits. I think this is the smaller of the two. I think there's a, I think this is 240 and I think there's 420 
Um, but this 240 has three rows of 80. So you've got 80 drill containers there. And my reasoning was one kit will go into this and then I've got another two shells so I could do up to three kits at the same time. Traditionally, I tend to do one kit at a time, but I have got circumstance where I need to kit up more than one at once. I've got a um, a um, diamond painting along um, fantasy and um, and um, mystical one coming with the um, DAC, DAC um, fans in the UK Facebook group. Um, and so I'll need one for that, and I'm also going to start um, solar system before that because that doesn't start until the first of September. That um, that um, fan along. Okay, so I thought this is brilliant. Does the job. It's got first level um, with that. It's got that lovely pouch here where you can um, store other stuff. Like I store my extra drill bags in there often when I'm doing a kit. Um, but obviously, you'd have to be careful um, making sure that you um, you're not putting multiple kits worth up there. It's standard, it comes with um, lots of stuff I won't use, the big drill tray, um, straightening tool, some really rubbishy tweezers and some really not very good drill pens, but um, and so a load of wax and some sticky labels, which I may use at some point. So just close that top level. I also, I got this one because I liked the lovely floral design on it. I felt it was a bit less boring than the black one, the black and purple one, so I thought, yeah, I'll get this one. And then you open up the bottom, and again, there's another two levels of these. So, yeah, very, very happy with that. I love this style of drill container. I find it very easy screwing on, screwing off. You can't accidentally knock them open and um, spill drills everywhere, as long as you've closed it again you know so and i don't find they, they don't wear out the the class uh, the um the lids or anything so far and i've been opening closing them quite a lot so yeah i do like this style a lot i love art dot for developing stuff like this so yeah so that's my birthday haul for now um, I will be back um with more stuff from my literate dragon um basically mounted uh putting that into the um the ma magnetic frames um and i'll also be back again as well kitting up uh, my solar system kit and at some point i will do my beginners um tutorial video on everything i think that's been helpful for me um th thanks for watching i'll see you again soon